Hi guys, welcome back. We have always the same Pixel 3a, but this time I've flashed it Ubuntu Torch. Yeah, that one, that one, or oh as yeah, it was supposed to be died um, last 2017 because Canonical, the company behind it, uh, did like. Um, finish the project saying it will not develop any further that OS but the foundation of Ubu UB ports at the hand took the um, the lead so we have here uh, the developer channel so it is not the stable one um, you will have uh, wait Ubuntu torch um it's all right uh it's a 2004 and release you see and <clears throat> so it is based on ubuntu focal and that's very important because it is the next big step in uh, ubuntu torch project and the pixel 3a is one of the most supported and working on device so we can have also a preview, uh, a preview also, um, right, <laughs> sorry for my English. Uh, we can have a preview of what's coming on with Ota 3 of Ubuntu 2004 for mobile devices. Um, so first, that, first thing, you will have a major um, speedness, you see things are clear to uh, open it is very very good. I open the weather. You see, it's good. The file manager and uh, is it running correctly? And that's a major improvement over the Ota 2, and that's to be said. Then, what to say about this, uh, this whole operating system? Well. It's open source. I think that most of the parts are open source because it is running on Lumiri. Uh, you high, you have <clears throat> this. <clears throat> I don't know if it is based on Qt. I don't know really the technical detail. Anyway, <clears throat> let's talk about practical things. Uh, one of those is the multitasking that is running 3D graphics. You see, it's something that you would have found on older ATC device, I believe. Anyway, it's very cool. And so um I I see the <clears throat> uh the one part is the multitasking that's very cool. Then you have if you just pick this part you will have the classical Ubuntu dash. So we have the Ubuntu button here and it will recall the launcher you see but you can always have this uh, UI if you long swipe and you will have this so actually the wallpaper is not visible always the time you will have uh, this the lock screen it will say random things like uh, how much photos do you took today or how much messages do you sent and like that, I uh, all right the, the pin, and then you have the mm, here the um, status bar that will move according to the direction of your finger. Now it is not working. Oh, now wipe. Uh, see if I swipe from the the clock, the time it will show me the calendar, but I can swipe and battery and all those indicators so it's very cool what about the application you will see well for native application you'll have the open store that's very cool and those are new applications that are are developed specifically for even touch uh for instance polyton current converter i press install it will ask me about donating something for this apple but i can skip it is um, very fast you see it also applications are smaller than android for example if i press open 
of course it will open and that's uh, an example of even the touch design it's something like iOS actually you see because you don't have a general use swipe um, back gesture gesture you have those little menu system icons uh, just like iOS <clears throat> For instance, uh, there's a common language across all the, those applications because if you have the messages, you can swipe up and compose a new message. Or from the call, from the phone application, sorry, you can swipe up and mm, see. But I can't swipe again to mm, minimize it and I need to press these arrows just like iOS. So it's something very strange. Also, a friend of mine suggested me that some applications, some icons, do recall uh, the iOS. Like, for example, mm, oh wait, I open Android applications, and I will talk about it later. Uh, that friend said to me, like, for example, open you nav. <clears throat> for example, you nav. It's very, very similar to the iOS icon. <clears throat> But that's an example. So you have the open store, but what about WhatsApp, uh, the, the, the um, I don't know, banking applications and so on? Well, we have WayDroid, and you can have a WayDroid uh, with this WayDroid helper uh, application that will um, let you install WayDroid and, of course, and you can also have the G app. So that's something to see. Uh, what about Waydroid? Well, Waydroid is essentially another OS running on this mobile. So, for example, we have the Waydroid uh, icon here, but not the new pipe uh, uh, um, icon, because it's all a uh, subsystem running. And you see now it is black screen. Why is that? Anyway, you see that's a glitch, I guess. If I swipe up this Waydroid uh, icon, it will or restart or close completely. So you essentially have to keep this Waydroid running all the time because you won't get notifications if you close it. And uh, yeah, it is restarting all Lineage OS, that's essentially Waydroid. So it's a bit painful. And I've seen that, uh, like for example, Droidian, uh, Droidian manage better this spot because it has a dedicated um, dedicated setting in in the the system settings that will manage Waydroid and let it run all the time. So, for example, if I open this, yeah, that's another issue because I have. I have Wi-Fi, but it does lose Wi-Fi now. I don't know if it's all also because I've uh, installed the developer channel, but anyway, you have to keep in mind that. And what about uh, um, hardware access? Yeah, you have the camera working, you have NFC. So maybe, um, oh wow, you see that's very unstable because uh yeah it's a developer channel so it is very very common it's okay it's like that anyway that's all uh, if you have something question about ubuntu touch please let me ask in the comment section and that's all until next time see you